Good, good morning. Good morning, everyone. We are at Pop Century Resort right now. It's our first morning waking up here, and we are heading to the Skyliner and to Hollywood Studios. If you're new to the channel, my name is Becky. I travel with my husband, Travis, and our daughter, Teddy. And together we are Roots and Wings Travel. So thanks for stopping by our video. I hope you're ready for some Walt Disney World fun at Hollywood Studios. Okay, so it is 8 a.m. And as we learned yesterday, 20 to 30 minutes makes all the difference in the morning. So if you can get up a little bit earlier, you're, by honestly 20 minutes, you will beat all of these people so you can see how long the line is for the Skyliner which will go really quickly but I bet you 20 minutes ago there wouldn't have been a lineup at all so just something to consider for your trip so they say less than five minutes from this point until we're on the Skyliner we're already moving pretty quick which is nice also when we got to the resort last night we were a little complainy because we were in the farthest building from the lobby but I've heard so many people say how it can be like a 10 to 15 minute walk to the Skyliner and it's terrible to be in those faraway buildings but like last night we got there so quick and again this morning like it wasn't even a five minute walk for us so I don't think any building is a bad building when you're at POP unless maybe you have mobility issues or maybe you've got little kids that are walking at their pace but it really it really isn't as bad as what I've thought based on what people have said. Toy Story says 10 minute for Toy Story with Midway Mania. So we'll see by the time we make it to the land what the wait is. Which was really fun. They were hilarious. 
but I sent Travis and Teddy to do the alien swirling saucers and Teddy is two inches too short. I didn't realize it had a height requirement. So I just did a mobile order for Woody's lunch box for a breakfast, which I should have done a lot earlier. I forgot, so the, the earliest return time was 9.50. So we just came over to Galaxy's Edge and we might grab a breakfast Ronto wrap while we're over here. check in for our lunch reservation which I forgot about but we have an 11:15 at 50s prime time which is just around the corner so it's all working out well this morning we made it it's like I planned it this way maybe we'll go with that Just had a really fun lunch inside the 50s Primetime Cafe. Um, it's really cool in there because it's like it's supposed to be like you're going home to your family's house and from the 50s. So it's like our waitress was Auntie and the dads were making the drinks and they make sure you follow rules like keep your elbows off the table and eat your green beans and it's just a lot of fun. We tried the platter so it had a little bit of the fried chicken, the meatloaf and the pot roast and we just shared it and we had a milkshake and Teddy had some mac and cheese and we really liked the chicken and we really liked the pot roast so we thought both of those were good little meals. We're really full but we did like we said we had the milkshake to go with it and really it's only been a couple hours since breakfast so we were happy just to share the platter and just gonna see if Teddy girl is ready for a sleep in her stroller. It's just noon now. I think we've pretty much done most of Hollywood Studios. I know there's a few shows and stuff that we haven't seen yet, but shows don't really seem to be much of a hit for Teddy, so... Oh, the Beauty and the Beast one. Well, we have to do the Beauty and the Beast one. Shoot. I'll have to look that up and... Yeah, see, maybe I'll just go to it during nap time or... We'll see. Um, so that's kind of the last thing that I obviously really wanted to do here. And then I think it'd be nice to go back to the resort for a bit and then maybe park hop later on this afternoon. But yeah, we're just kind of going to see. We're definitely going to walk through some shops. show for Beauty and the Beast. Um, there are no strollers in here so Trav is hanging out somewhere hopefully cool with Teddy in the stroller as she continues her little nap. We're just nine minutes away from it starting here and then we'll be back on the Skyliner and back to Pop. Here goes the baker with his tray, like always, the same old red 
wonderful. where we're going you got it animal kingdom we're just gonna grab a quick bite from the quick service here at the resort because we don't want to get to animal kingdom and not be able we would love to eat at yak and yeti they don't have any reservations and we don't want to get there and not be able to get in and then do the like wandering around looking for something to eat and then end up with something that we're not super excited for so we're just gonna have something quick and simple and relatively cheap here and then head to Animal Kingdom. 621 heading into Animal Kingdom. This is beautiful weather. There's a nice little breeze. It's 28 above. It's 28 degrees. It feels very nice. the triceratops spin here. Teddy was saying more, more. So Trav's gonna go take her for another spin. Not that it's a big deal at all, but it just makes me a little bit dizzy. So I'm gonna sit it out and they can go have another round. And let's go for a spin. you're wondering why I would choose to come back to Animal Kingdom when there's less than two hours left of park open. Well, for one, I really wanted to buy these little stuffies of Chippendale, which I forgot to do the other day. And Teddy just loved the little meet and greet with them so much, so I just wanted to have them as a cute little souvenir. And for another thing, I really wanted to see the Pandora World of Avatar at night. It's supposed to be really beautiful with the bioluminescence. So we're heading there now to check that out. So I know it's not gonna translate onto the video camera as well as we're seeing it in real life, but Hopefully you can appreciate some of the bioluminescence that they have here in Pandora. watched a little bit of the projection on the tree of life and we are heading out of Animal Kingdom for the last time this trip. Yeah, that'll be it. Rope. It's such a nice park. We really love it here. Glad we got to come back. This wasn't planned so it's just nice to have a couple bonus hours in Animal Kingdom and so nice to see it at night. Yeah, it's it's just as nice at night. Obviously, a little bit better during the day, but at nighttime everything lights up. It's actually really amazing. Every little plant and animal, even the sidewalk glows at night. It's really cool in that Pandora area. Yeah, totally worth seeing during the day and again at night. So that's going to be 
be it for us tonight from Animal Kingdom. We're going to say goodnight here. We had an amazing day. It just seems so unreal. Like we just went to Hollywood Studios this, uh, this morning for a bit and then we just hopped over to Animal Kingdom for a couple of hours and it's so nice just to know that we have a little bit of flexibility and a little bit of extra time rather than just that like you only get one day in each park. So feeling really lucky for that and grateful and yeah also grateful to be able to make these videos hopefully you enjoyed it found it helpful if you have any questions pop them down below we are going to epcot tomorrow so that's our first time there this trip and we're going to do genie plus and we're going to have a full day and we can't wait to take you along with us so make sure you are subscribed so that you don't miss any of our videos coming up Thank you again so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.